All right, so... Hi! <laughs> oh, hi. Tales of Taylor here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tales of Andrew. We just uh, went to uh, Half Price Books over here. And... A new Half Price Books, so I was super excited to uh, go check it out. Yeah. And there were two people already diving in there, and he was like, what do you want? And I was like, uh, you know, hi, Tales of Taylor here. <laughs> no, I'm just guys, uh... I didn't say that. I was just like, you guys diving? And they were like, yeah, yeah, we're diving. And I was like, oh, man. We wanted to check out this half price books, and like you guys are already, you guys beat us to it. And know? they said that somebody was yeah, here before some, them. Somebody hit it before them, so I'm going to turn. Yeah, left and right. they were, yeah, just turn left here. They they were older people too. Yeah, so it's cool to see dumpster divers of all different ages and sizes. And he had, I think, white hair, and he had a headlamp. It was really cool. Yeah, we need to get a headlamp. Yeah, dude, that was a good idea they had. All right, well let's hit this game stop. We'll see yep. what we can find. What is it? Posters. Posters? I think so. I think so. Uh, so, very long time. So I like this. I like the new 3DS one. I'm gonna take that one. There's a baseball one. Okay. I'll put I'll put ones that we won't keep in this pile. Yeah, we're not gonna keep those. We're not gonna keep the Xbox One one. These are these are pieces. Place them together. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah. Just cost three. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a typo. And Heaven Sword. Okay. I like that one. I'm gonna... Oh, Xenoverse? Sweet. Right yeah. Yeah, Xenoverse? Ooh, I want this. Want this? Yeah. Xenoverse ones. Far Cry 4, Evolve. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Typo. Awesome. Right. And Heaven Sword. That's it. Nice. Thanks. It's a legit printer. <laughs> like, it's, it's like a old. We found three printers so dude. far. That is a really old printer. Wait, are you sure that's a printer? Yeah. Uh, this is a fax machine. Yeah, it's a... No. I don't know. Do they still make fax machines? I don't know what that is, dude. <laughs> that's really heavy. Wow. Yeah. Dude, I have no idea what this is. Let's just take it, figure it out, and throw it away. Out here diving alone. And it just got done raining. Um... I'm going over to Hastings right now. This is the first time I've ever dived at Hastings by myself. And usually, I mean, I recommend everyone always use the buddy system whenever you're going diving because, I mean, it can be unsafe if you're by yourself. And I know I should be with Edgar, but Edgar's at work. So, uh, and I really want to uh, see what's in the Hastings dumpsters because it's one of my favorite places to dive now. Let's see. So boxes, some bags. All right, I'll probably have to jump in. Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought they ripped them. They didn't. Huh. I guess I'll be taking these. Whose Who's line is it anyway? Sweet. It's like when we saw the crawfish in the same spot. A big old frog. What in there, Mr. Frog? What you doing? Being silly out here? Okay, so I'm pulling stuff out of the bags right now. Um, and look, so uh, all these Pooh Bear books, none of the pages are ripped or anything like that. They're all for, priced at uh, $4.99, so $5, $10, $15, $20. I mean, that's free, $20 right there. But uh, I probably won't sell them. I'll probably end up just giving them away or something like that. And then uh, Rio on DVD. This, though, um, I just have pulled out Nirvana, the vinyl record it says it's defective um it says the vinyl skips but still uh the vinyl's in there you can feel it that is freaking gorgeous i love that and a lot of dvds which is always cool urban cowboy <laughs> uh there's the rio case sweet friday the 13th four movie collection let's see there's one disc two three four all four discs are in there there's a fox catcher. There's the case for it. Oh, sweet. I've actually never seen this movie. Real Steel on Blu-ray. So that's pretty awesome. Heart Live. This is a, a, a shield case, metallic, lightweight and form fit. It's pink, uh, but, but that's cool. Uh, oh, 4S. Where's the iPhone 4 and 4S? That's cool. And then lots, uh, lots more DVDs. I haven't gone over all of them. Monuments Men. Uh, great movie, Sons of Anarchy, Ar Anarchy <laughs> The uh, Mummy Returns, very cool, so... 
Thor. Awesome. The Book of Life is kind of recent. Yeah, that's crazy to already find that. And the disc looks fine. The case is just broken. You can just, uh, uh, just donate these to schools, stuff like that. I mean, all these books, guys, they're all in great shape. It's like this, this Bravo book, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's ripped a little bit there in the corner, but I mean, it's still, it's still readable. All the pages are still in there. So, I mean, you know, why not? These kids can get something out of this, you know? Tales of Edgar here, and we're walking up to a dumpster and stuff's happening. Okay, we're in right. Games Plus oh. right now. I know, I know. It it's like Look at all that grody stuff right there. Okay, dang it. Oh. Awesome power. What the? Oh. <laughs> there, was a, there was an Austin Powers groovy ball game? A pinball game? But it's not in there. What is that? Oh, Super Street Fighter 4? Eh. Eh. Nope. It's empty. That's uh, weird. Usually their games aren't empty. That sucks. I know. Or good Subway. What's the difference? <laughs> Terrible game. Duke Nukem Forever. I don't think it's in there. Oh. Dang it, I can't open with one hand. I can do it. Oh, hey. No, it's in there. <laughs> it's now three ninety-five. Wow. People at one point bought this for $59. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Confessions of a teenage Edgar. <laughs> Ed Edgar just him. Edgar just okay. pulled out a freaking... Okay, <laughs> we all got it. Holy crap. I didn't realize what this was. <laughs> I'm going to fix this. I'm, I'm totally going to fix this because the cable, the cable's fine. It's just really freaking disgusting. Missing a joystick. The C-stick is grody, but I, I'm totally going to fix this because I love the uh, GameStop brand of the uh, GameCube controller. You have to wait for me to freaking walk up and Shut start up. recording before you pull <laughs> stuff out. <laughs> I didn't pull it the first time. I didn't pull it the second time. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Oh, it's a table. <sighs> it is a freaking giant ass. What the? Dude, we can do cocaine on this table. Are these Toms? Dude, these are Toms. Hey, can I make room in your car for this? There's a bunch of Toms in here. What size? I don't know. They're women's oh, size though. So I guess so I figured out why they threw away these Toms is because they tried to paint them and help me. Wait, what are you doing? You just want the mirror? Oh. Help me. No, it's gonna break. So what Edgar's trying to get this mirror off of this table to keep the mirror. I don't know why. But you're distorting the mirror. It, it does look like a big old banjo. Fine, I'll do it by myself. Good luck. Let's go. <laughs> no, we're gonna clean this up. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, uh, nice and clean. The freaking Edgar. <laughs> we all made mistakes. <laughs> so all we decided to keep was the Game Informer and then the uh, Yoshi Control that I am going to fix. So we just got the Half Price books. We have not opened up the dumpster yet. And lo and behold, it is filled with books. Of course, it's 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 always filled with books. Guys, that's, do you understand how incredible that is? Like, holy, holy crap. crap! This is look at how tall Edgar is, and look at how tall this dumpster is, and it's filled to the brim. George Washington. And this is this is every time we come here, guys. Do you understand? How, we we gotta we gotta just just take the whole dumpster and just. Oh, Jesus. All right, time for me to dive on in. Let's do it. Is the blue right in there. Yeah, it's in there. DVDs! Hey, a record. Sweet. Oh, my gum fell out. Indiana Jones, The Temple of sealed. Doom, sealed in VHS. That's crazy. Probably not. No? No, VHSs are worthless now, man. It sucks. What, for collectors, dude? I guess maybe for collectors. I mean, like, this is a special edition dude, of Save the Last Dance. The original Indiana Jones. Texas Parks and Wild? I actually like this. Like oh, my God. I love finding books like this. The Secret of the Ages. Look at this. 1956. Holy crap. Oh. It's in there. Sweet. I really like this. Is this is this real? Is it what why why why? Dumpster dive. I mean, look at all of this un 
all this stuff. We can't take all of this. That is why I urge you guys to begin dumpster diving. I want you guys to see the things that are being thrown away. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Like, I want you guys to be educated on what dumpster diving is all about and what you can find. I mean, it's literally insane. You could get rich off of this. You could donate all of this. You could do so much with it. You could keep it. I mean, whatever you want with dumpster diving. I just realized this Tom Sawyer book is 45 cents because it's from the 1960s. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, now it's time for us to go over the great finds that we found today. There is a lot that we found. Nothing too phenomenal, but I am very happy that we went out because we found a good amount of stuff. So let's get into this. This box is filled with Blu-rays and DVDs, and then there's some Naughty Megs right there. Let's throw them out. Uh, let's see. So we got, I'll just go over a couple of them. There's Snow Buddies, there's Second Hand Lions, uh, Mega Fault 2012 Supernova. All the DVDs are in here. There's a bunch in here. Like, we got VHS Viral, the Box Trolls, which I feel like Box Trolls came out recently too. The Sons of Anarchy I need to put back in the thing. Uh, Book of Life, Transformers. And then there's a couple more. There's the Sons of Anarchy thing. And then the other two discs are in there. The Return of the Mummy. Uh, so yeah, uh, Rio. So pretty cool. Nice nice amount of DVDs there. And then we have the Friday the 13th Four Movie Collection and Fox Catcher. And then there's this book box is just filled with children's books. So I'm going to go donate all those to either a school or a library or something like that. I know some libraries throw out books as well. So I'm not too keen on, on uh, libraries. But I know a couple of schools and... So yeah, I used to work at a couple different schools. So hopefully I can uh, get into that. Let's see. So the one video game that we found was Duke Nukem. And that was at Games Plus. So I tested it out. It does work. Um, I guess they threw it away because it's Duke Nukem Forever. I don't know. Anyways, Indiana Jones, uh, Temple of Doom sealed. Pretty cool to find a VHS sealed. I know VHSs aren't, you know, a popular format of video anymore, but that's still pretty awesome. An iPhone case, some headphones still in their package, lots of books here, lots of books in there. Oh, and then we found this huge collection of L. Ron Hubbard stuff. I guess someone was just really not liking the whole entire Scientology thing, so just wanted to throw out everything by L. Ron Hubbard. I don't know anything, I mean, I know somewhat a little bit about Scientology. I'm not super duper into it. But, you know, I don't judge. Everyone's free to believe what they want to believe. And I'll probably end up actually selling those. Um, oh, also, I should add, people always ask me, what do I do with the stuff that we find? I do everything that you could possibly imagine with it. I, either, I always clean it all. Uh, I clean, sanitize everything. I either keep it, I sell it, I give it away, or I donate it. Um, so, yeah. I do everything. So, you know, like I said, I'll donate those. I'll probably, like, sell those things. I'll give away a couple things. Probably, like, the vinyls. People like to collect vinyls, so I like to give those away because I don't usually use them. Um, winning the poo books, i probably give those away. Stuff like that. So, yeah, that is what I do with the stuff that we find. So, that's pretty much everything. Oh, and then we found some GameStop posts and stuff like that. I like the uh, Type O. And last thing, I love these things. I mean, it's just... You know, collection of the National Geographics from 1982. You know, because every month they put out them. And I love the sleeve cover for them. So it's really cool. And then what was it? These were, oh, okay. A dictionary and a thesaurus. But they're, they're you know, they're in a pretty little thing here. And then there's 1982 July through. This, oh, cool. So that, that's the whole year. Sweet. So the whole 1982 of National Geographic. That's really cool. An old dictionary. This was 1960s. One or 1970s, I believe it was, actually. So I, I kept that one just because I, I thought it looked cool. All the Harry Potter books. <laughs> so we have Half-Blood Prince. Let's see. Goblet of Fire. Order of the Phoenix. And Deathly Hollows. Oh, I really like this book. This was a uh, book that was uh, published in the 1900s, I believe. Oh, and last checked out, 1957. That's pretty awesome. Book like this, I thought this was really cool. This was a really old book. Oh, this one, 1900. I believe. Let me see. Yep, copyright 1900, so. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that we found. Oh, also, one more thing. A bird crapped on that. 
if you, any of you know what this is fastback i don't i don't know what this is i just i have no idea i feel like someone told me that i'd be oh it's that thing i don't i, I just don't i have no idea what this is so if anyone knows, uh, just go ahead and, and let me know just in the comments. So I haven't done a trade mail package in a while, and I just wanted to... Well, this person wanted to be in the trade mail package. Um, so I just wanted to say a couple things that he got me. He got me two Amiibos. So um, a, uh, a Link a link Amiibo, which I'll probably end up painting, doing something like that. And then the Super Mario Bros. Peach Amiibo. And someone actually asked me, since I'm talking about Amiibos... Someone asked me, uh, you know, what do I think about them? I love them. I love Amiibos. They're phenomenal. I'm only missing five. And I got my Nest pre-ordered and a couple others pre-ordered. I didn't get Robin, Lucina, Greninja, or Jigglypuff pre-ordered, of course. I mean, they went out so fast, so that's sad. And I'm missing the other four um, exclusives. Rosalina, Lucario, Shulk, and Meta Knight, as well as King DDD. I still have King DDD pre-ordered at GameStop, but they haven't gotten it in. But every other Amiibo I have, and I open them. Um, I have some closed because I don't have a stand yet for them. I need to. I, I want to have a stand, like a nice, a nice display for them before I, I open them all. But I don't. I don't have one yet, so I don't want to. I don't want to open all of them yet. But I have a bunch open. I have all the Super Mario Bros. ones open for Mario Party, and the Amiibo Party game is phenomenal i love it it's super fun and then i have a couple others opened and i plan on painting them and customizing them like toad he would be probably toadsworth i'd probably do a toadsworth with toad but yeah the trade mail package guy he his name's steven he's a pretty cool dude um yeah he sent me a couple other things like a little sonic manga some cool stuff like that so i i do appreciate that steven so thank you i won't be doing trade mail packages as much because of my hectic schedule but i'll be doing some more trades just if you are interested if you saw anything that you like you know just let me know and i will be putting more stuff up on my ebay account very soon so i i guess i'll leave my ebay account in the description you won't see anything there until probably next week so you know check that out if you want to Oh, and I also wanted to show you guys something really awesome. The Yoshi GameCube controller that, well, not GameCube controller, it's a, it's like a Wii Pro controller, but for the, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the gamepad, that's what they call it. Uh, the one that we found in the dumpster, the Yoshi one, looked super grody and disgusting. I cleaned it, sanitized it. I put on the joystick and then a rubber stick for the C-stick. So this is what it looks like now. And I, I put on black pads. I don't know. I'm not too keen on how the black looks with it. But um, I really love it. And it works. So I have this now. And it's all clean and, and pretty. And yeah. I Look at this. Go dumpster diving. You could. And, and people are always like, you know. Oh, it's trash. You, that's why it's in there. Because it's broken. I mean, yeah. But broken stuff to me is awesome. Because I get the. To fix it and i love fixing things i mean like the ps3 that we found the one that was broken i enjoyed taking my time and fixing it but yeah go dumpster diving if you haven't gone dumpster diving yet because not only is it fun it can be unsafe bring a buddy always bring a buddy i i i think you should always bring a friend with you and if you don't have a friend then ask a random stranger because that's how conversation should always play as just ask someone you want to go you want to go dive with me don't say dumpster dive just say dive it was funny edgar and i were working out recently and we went to the pool and the pool was a diving pool because we were going to go do laps and the lady was like oh are you guys divers and i said yeah we're a type of diver and edgar just started cracking up because he knew what i was talking about but she was just like oh okay she didn't get it but we got it and that's what matters right agenda go go dumpster diving Right? Because then people could find, you know, little pirate kitties too. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And, I mean, it means a lot that you guys are, are so supportive of, of my choice from the giveaway. And there will be seven more weeks, seven more week videos of GameStop Dumpster Diving. As well as a couple different um, Dumpster Dive content videos. 
you guys will see what I mean. They're really cool. I have, I have, a, I have some good ideas uh, for those videos. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next GameStop Dumpster Diving Adventure. Maybe not GameStop, maybe other places. But anyways, yeah. Ah!